How would you have pitched to Jeter? Well, I mean, uh, uh, Jeter, you have to move around the play, you know, because, I mean, if you stay around in one play, you he will hurt you. So you have to stay in at him and uh, away for him and down and up and, and making a little bit uncomfortable on the play. How would you have pitched to A-Rod? Uh, well, I did pitch to A-Rod, tight in and low and away. Tight and low and away. High in and low and away, yes. All right. Game's on the line. You got Jeter or A-Rod. Who do you want to face? Well, both. Well, uh, if I had to choose, I wanted to face A-Rod. But even though he can uh, damage you with a home run. I say as Derek, but Derek, I think, was more clusher on those situations. Have you been watching the documentary? Uh, no, I have not. <laughs> well, you live, I, you live through I, it. Yeah, I know that I'm in there. <laughs> I was there a few hours uh, talking about him. <laughs> You're one of the reasons why he has a documentary. I guess. <laughs> uh, do you have a, is there a negative story that you have on Jeter? Like everything is, you know, everything's, you know, all these uh, flowers, you know, is there a funny story about Jeter? Well, I mean, uh... We have a lot of stories you know, that will stay with us. I will tell you those right now. Okay. Maybe in a hundred years. <laughs> but uh, the only thing that I have with there was I was watching. I think I was retired already. And I was watching him in 2014. He hit the ball hard. Okay. And, and I thought he thought that the ball was going over the fence. And he started jogging. Ooh. And the ball hit the top of the fence. And the ball came back. And he almost got thrown out on second base. That I never saw from him. You know, he was so aware of the game and, and what was going on that uh, he will never make those mistakes. But for some reason that day, uh, he did that. And uh, I'm sure he will remember that to the day of uh, that he died. Okay. Like, that's the bad story about Derek Jeter. He almost got thrown out at second base. Come on, Mo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I tell you what, I mean I, I, a man like him, I mean, I will never expect that to happen. That's where it is to me. I will never expect that to happen because, I mean, he, again, he was so aware of what's going on in the, in the ball game that, uh, and, and that's a big mistake. That's a mental mistake. And he don't make those mental mistakes too often. 